Did you know that if a bear were to punch you, you would die? Welcome to the incredible truth and extensive history of one of nature's fuzziest killers. During the height of the Sumerian society, when the seven gods who decree walked the earth, a man named Barry Brown thought it would be funny to prank Enki. He donned a large fursuit from Amazon and snuck up on the deity. With a loud roar, he succeeded on his spook. The god Enki, who commanded the forces of creation, water, magic, and semen, did not take kindly to the joke. He cursed Barry and his lineage to forever walk the earth as fat, furry dog people. As time marched forward, his line was divided into four kingdoms. At the height of strength were the polar bears. Their ability to summon and command both frost and magnets made them powerful rulers. Below the polar bears were black bears, masters of stealth and dark magic. On the weaker spectrum lay brown bears who had power over the flow of rivers. And the least powerful of all bears are pandas, an enigmatic clan of raccoon farmers who invented bamboo. At a time unrecorded by man, the black and brown bears rose above their masters. In a great ritual of static electricity, they rubbed up against trees while chanting an ancient phrase. This ritual launched all polar bears hurtling toward the north, away from the now safe forests. To this day, they still echo the ritual in an attempt to keep their masters at bay. Today, each clan has gone in wildly different directions. The polar bears, confined to their icy kingdom, spend their dwindling days savagely murdering any semblance of life within a 50-mile radius of their homes. Black bears took a humbler approach and surrendered their throne to the brown bears. Pandas remain a mystery, living their alien lifestyles comfortably in false habitats. Bears are known to stand in rivers, catching a bounty of fish to be eaten later. Once they catch their fill, they grill a delicious medley of wild berries, perfectly seared fish, and various roots, all cooked using a special and well-kept recipe. After their meals, some have been known to finish up their evenings with a slice of chocolate cake and a Manhattan. Bears have been known to mine for precious metals, and their cavernous networks can span hundreds of miles inside various mountains. During the winter months, they hide from the snow and spend time digging away while others choose to meditate at the mouths of these caves. This meditation allows bears to tap into the heart of the world where they can feel it breathing. They use this power to predict the best food sources for the coming spring. There also exists a cult of false bears known as the Sun and Moon tribe who were inspired by the Pokemon franchise. They don suits and pretend to walk in a manner that mirrors their masters. Their dedication to this facade has fooled many humans and have even gained display habitats beside pandas. There are many misconceptions about how to interact with bears and how to best survive different encounters. Some advise to feign death, and others suggest to scare them away. There are, in fact, two better options available. Bears are the world's greatest wrestlers and enjoy nothing more than a close quarter slap box. Beware any distance they gain, as they are fond of delivering atomic elbows from heights up to 40 feet. Alternatively, bears are very passionate about graphic design and striking up a conversation about the topic could prove useful. Note that any interaction with a bear will result in death, but the latter will be more entertaining. These majestic killers are dwindling in numbers, and there may be no future for three of the known tribes. Someday soon, without human intervention, all but the brown kingdoms will fall into the sands of time.